Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization um, really uh, helping the direction and mentoring females in cloud technologies and converging technologies. Tonight we're with CloudNow at their fifth annual Top Women in Cloud Innovations Award uh, ceremony, and we're very excited to be joined by Megan Rossetti, who's a senior cloud engineer at Walmart. Megan is an award winner. Congratulations and welcome to theCUBE. Thank you the very Cube. much, thank you. Talk to us a little bit about what you're doing at Walmart that is clearly award winning. <laughs> So with Walmart, what we are looking at doing and we've really focused in this past year is expanding outside of our e-commerce mm. solutions for cloud. So our cloud technologies have really been focused on e-commerce and we are expanding into not only our retail area but also our infrastructure. So that has been quite the focus this past year. Uh, we've really streamlined our cloud operations team so that we have pulled talent, pulled resources, together throughout the company and really presenting a unified team in which deployments, methodology, it's completely unified across the company for cloud. That's fantastic. And mm -hmm. I know you've got a rock star operations team. Talk to us a little bit about some of the key criteria that make this team that you lead so successful. So the team at Walmart is we have several different operations teams because of public and private cloud. And so they're led with different individuals and they do a phenomenal job of ensuring that there's cohesion, ensuring that there's flexibility, ensuring that there's support within the community, within open source community initiatives, whether it's giving back to OpenStack, we're a large contributor back to the OpenStack um, software, both within the projects and working groups within OpenStack. Um, so all teams really end up coming together and there is a lot of discussion as to what works for the team. And what works for one team does not necessarily work for the other in an understanding of that's okay. And we can be flexible and we can incorporate different methodology depending on requirements. Excellent. Share with us a little bit about your background. Were you always an engineering kid at heart or were you, maybe was your path to being a successful female technologist mm -hmm. a bit non-linear? What was that like? So, I have a very different path um, that I traveled. I actually was a firefighter EMT for years um, wow. before I went into technology. Um, and it was something that, we implemented automated reporting and things along those lines okay. that I was always interested in but never pursued full force. And so I just sort of, I was looking for something different and sort of fell into technology and really grew from there. So I did not, I created my own path quite honestly. I, I did not really follow kind of a, any type of set pattern or set path. I think that's a fantastic message though for our viewers mm -hmm. to understand and maybe people even that you mentor is, that's okay, yes. that you can create your own path. In fact, one of the things that was interesting when you were talking about being a, you know, an EMT is, is but that you were exposed to technology through yes. that. I mean, these days, every company is a tech it company. It is, it absolutely so, is. Uh, kids are growing up with technology in their pockets yes. that um, they're, they've probably got a predilection that they don't know about. And I think, right. I think that's a great message for people to understand that and you should, I think you should be proud of that, that mm -hmm. it's something that you saw opportunity and you created for yourself. Um, as an, as a, an award winner and at the CloudNow Award event tonight, what are some of the key messages maybe from the keynotes that you've really thought, that's great advice, I want to share that with others. What were some of those messages? There have been so many, it's hard to, to pick one. Um, I think more than anything is just try. Find something that you're interested in. It does not have to be something that is directly related to what you do day in and day out. Find something you're passionate about and dive into it. Whether it's within a, another group, whether it's within your own team, um, whether it is something completely different that you've never tried before, and really just dive into it and see what's out there. Partner with people within your company to see what they're working on and what you can also learn from and leverage from them as well too. I think that's great advice and I've heard some of the similar messages is, <laughs> is just try. I yes. always have sort of the tenet, I shouldn't say always in the last few years of, <laughs> 
if you have a goal that doesn't put butterflies in your stomach, is it really a goal worth having that yes. you can do this? Mm -hmm. If someone tells you no, ignore it. Right. <laughs> you know, no matter what. Yes. And I, I've heard that echoed loudly to Don't put mm -hmm. yourself in a box. Yes. Um, and I think that you've heard that as well. And it sounds like that's how you've had the confidence to go from um, being an EMT to being a leader and award-winning leader in technology. It's it's funny. It doesn't seem as if it was a strange path. It actually seemed, it seems like you to make go a lot of logic. Of it, right? I wouldn't. I, agree, I yeah. wouldn't. And I'm also very fortunate because I've had some really great support along the way. And I think that that's pretty critical in, in any, whether you're making a change, whether you're staying on um, a very solid path or you decide to completely take a left turn and figure something else out. It's support with, within, um, whether it's within work, outside of work. And I, I have to admit, I've been very fortunate in that. Who were some, maybe your top two most influential supporters? Definitely family, without yeah. question. Yeah. Um, absolutely. And then I would also say my current team. Um, I've been with them for a while, actually. And they, um, they're they very, very good at, at letting me pursue different ideas and different initiatives. And especially letting me, hey, I need to talk to you about this. Can I bounce this off of you? What do you think about if we started going through on this path? Or maybe if we looked at doing this. And they're there for their discussion. They're there for a reality check. And they've been really supportive. Well, I, I bet that they're very fortunate that you're their leader. <laughs> Megan Rossetti, Senior Cloud Engineer at Walmart, now CUBE alumna and award winner. Thank you so much for joining us on the CUBE. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You've been watching the CUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. And if you have a female rock star in tech that you think should be interviewed in our Palo Alto studios, please tweet us at the CUBE, hashtag women in tech. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. Stop.